What is good, C Squad? Today we're watching the second episode of Has Been Hotel. I know it's been a while since I watched the first episode, but we'll be fine. Let's try and get this video to 1,000 likes. And if you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to subscribe. Let's go. Oh, please. You had less than half a chance when you started all this salvation bullshit. And now... Ain't no silver lining this time, toots. Valentino. That's that one overlord, isn't it? The one that dresses like a pimp? Is he one of those people that like constantly text you no matter what? I'm really curious to like find out more about the overlords in hell like Valentino. Show your tens, Alistair. Come and face it. Oh, there you are. Oh, fuck yes. I love this character so much. He was one of my favorite characters back in the pilot. And from what I've heard, he was never meant to be a full main character, but apparently he was well liked. So they kept him in the show, which is really cool, by the way. A lot of times show creators don't listen to their fans and just stick to what they have written as a script. So for example, if Sir Pentius was supposed to be a one-time character for the pilot and killed off, most shows would have just kept him dead. Obviously, Vizzy Pop cares about her community and listens. Now, my only question question is, are they going to explain how the hell Sir Pentius survived? Because if you remember from the pilot, Alistair killed him. I doubt they're going to bring it up. Destruction! Villain extraordinaire! Ooh, you tell him, boss. <gasps> Ooh, he's a bad boy. Nifty, what the hell? That was just so out of left field. I was gonna ask how old Nifty is, but I guess technically we don't know Nifty's age. Hell, Nifty could be like 30 years old for all we know. We've done battle like 20 times. Well, you must have been really bad at this. Silence! I could argue the same thing about you, Alistair. If you guys have battled 20 times and Alistair, you have failed to kill him 20 times, it just kind of shows that Alistair isn't very good at what he's supposed to be doing which is conquering and causing suffer and pain or maybe alistair just likes serpentius maybe it's a batman and joker type deal vox tech trust us trust us trust us now that's good television Vox is one of the coolest characters just based off of appearances. I've seen a few TikTok clips of Vox just being himself and he seems like a super entertaining character. Also, if you look under his bow tie, it's an upside down Wi-Fi symbol. I just love the design of Vox. He's so cool. Just get her off here now. Damn it, Valentino. <sighs> Oh uh, yeah, and here I go, Valentino. Just another fucking day with Val. Hey, hey, hey. Fuck my life. I just want to give the show props. So far, every voice actor in this show has been top notch. Like, every voice actor fits every character perfectly. Already, I love Vox's voice actor. And that other girl that was just on the call with him, her voice sounds incredible. But he tore up my best model. And you know the show can't wait for that unlucky bitch to pull herself back together. Melissa, get over here! No, no. I love Velvet's voice actor so much. It's almost like a mixture of like Australian and English. I don't know if that's the proper way to describe it. I don't know, I'm just infatuated by her voice. Finally! <laughs> Kitty, another drink! Can you believe what that piece of shit did? The ungrateful whore! Um, which whore are we talking about this time? What the hell are these posters in the background? So is Valentino supposed to be like a pimp? Or maybe like some kind of porn actor? Porn king? I'm trying to figure out what their powers are. Like obviously Vox is supposed to be a representation of media and how it controls people's minds. Well in the show he does, but in the real world it's like more complicated than just being controlled. Angel quit? No! He didn't fucking quit! It's worse! He moved! He thinks he can just walk in here, work, and- <laughs> I just love how Valentino is going crazy, and Vox is just nonchalantly just like... Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm just curious, like, so obviously Angel Dust and Valentino have some sort of history. I'm assuming Valentino is Angel Dust's porn producer. I have no idea. That slippery twink is going to remember who owns him. I'm gonna fuck everyone in that rancid shithole, I swear to God. Wow. <laughs> Think about it. I Whoa, that was sick. That kind of reminded me of like Alistair almost. Kind of like how Alistair goes super serious for like a quick second. It was like Vox was trying to like use his like, his hypnotizing powers on Valentino. I mean, I doubt it works because Valentino is also an overlord. Also, if Valentino were to have gone over to the hotel and 
I guess, try to fuck people up. Does Valentino not understand how bad that would be? Lucifer's daughter owns that hotel. Lucifer would probably just kill Valentino on the spot, right? Actually, no, Alistair would probably. Actually, I don't know the hierarchy in the show. Is Alistair stronger than Valentino? I'm talking as if I'm watching Dragon Ball. Oh, who else is there? Someone who owes you money? <laughs> Someone who owes us much more than money. The radio demon is there. <laughs> What did you just say? You <laughs> Oh, Valentino saying that triggered Vox. Oh my god. That's the first time throughout this entire episode we've seen Vox actually kind of break his cool or lose his cool. From the pilot, we know that Alistair was some kind of demon killer. So I'm assuming they've probably fought at some point. Obviously, Vox has some sort of history with Alistair. I don't know, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Please! Stop! Alistair! <laughs> I love that Alistair is just like losing his mind. But did you also see that Alistair was barely visible in the video? I'm surprised the camera is even able to capture the video at all. Since the last time we saw Alistair trying to get caught in a video, the camera just blew up. Maybe Vox has some kind of powers that prevent that. I'm getting kind of antsy actually. I want to know more about Vox and Alistair. Because clearly Vox is upset. For letting your guard down! Oh shit! It looks as though I need a visit to the tailor. I like that Alistair is actually showing care in the hotel. Whether he has evil intentions is a whole different subject, but at least he's showing some kind of care. Also, I just have to bring this up, but Sir Pentius has plot armor, because if that was any other character, Alistair would have just probably devoured them. But since Sir Pentius is a light character, he didn't obviously just kill him on the spot. Fox? Fox! That fucker is back! Yeah, I thought he was gone for good too. Ooh, hold on, hold on. That transition was sick. Man, that was cool. Fuck you. Just saying. Things have changed a lot since he left town. That's for sure. I like the background piano. It reminds me of like, if any of you played the game Hollow Knight, the beginning of this song sounds like a lot of like Hollow Knight soundtracks, which by the way, I love Hollow Knight. It's really cool. I like it so far. Stayed gone. Say hello to a new status quo. I am already in love with Vox's voice. Like his singing voice. Oh my god. What's the actor's name? Christian Borel. Oh man. I'm already loving this song. Camera speeds. Rolling in three. Welcome to the show. Top of the hour, and we're discussing a certain has been. That transition was sick. I have to listen to that again. Camera speeds. Rolling in three. Oh my god, I don't even know what to say. My ears are at like a candy shop right now. We started with like a serious piano. Now we're just going to upbeat. Demon is a coward! You can take that as gospel. Pulling my viewer is impossible. I'm visual, he's barely audible. Stop giving him the time of day. Don't listen to a word he'd say. I hope he had a nice vacay, but he should have stayed away. Oh my god. I know this is gonna sound stupid, but it's almost as if Vox is using his powers on me, the viewer. I am just in a trance with this song right now. This song so far is amazing. I love Vox. Vox's voice actor. Now his medium is getting bloody rare. Hell's been better since he split. Where's he been? Who gives a shit? Salutations. Good to be back. Oh shit. Oh shit. So now Alistair's getting into it. Also, I love this right here where Vox has all these TV screens and just Alistair has just this one radio player. Clearly, Alistair isn't just gonna let it slide. Alistair has way too much pride for that. Sinners rejoice. What a dated voice. Instead of a cloud chasing mediocre video podcast. Come on. Oh my god, dude, Alistair is shitting on Vox. I love how all the people that were watching Vox instantly turned their attention to Alistair. As if Alistair kind of broke Vox's trance, his hypnotism. Vox insecure, pursuing a lure, putting between this fat and that is nothing working. Ignore his chirping. Every day he's got a new format. You're looking at the future. He's the shit that comes before that. Dude, Alistair is destroying Vox. Alistair said every day he has a new format. Alistair isn't just talking about Vox, but he's also talking about how media is nowadays. Like for example, YouTube. Content's always changing on YouTube. Things are always changing. I love that Alistair didn't just go out of his way to try and physically beat Vox. He's actually schooling Vox via his words, which is what Alistair is great at. Is Vox as strong as he purports, or is it based on his support? He'd be powerless without the other means. Oh, please. 
Okay, I know. Okay, I'm sorry for pausing so much, but I love that Alistair brought that up. Alistair just said that he'd be powerless, he as in Vox, without the other Vs. Think about that in our world. Like, yeah, phones are amazing and TV's amazing. Like, imagine if we didn't have social media. Imagine if YouTube never existed. Twitch. All those things that make us care about using this screen. TV. If, if TV had no entertainment, no one would care. Nobody would spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on televisions. If we didn't have movies to watch or sports to watch. Oh, Alistair, you're such a genius. And he is the sugar on the cream. He asked me to join his team. Oh, no. I said no, and now he's busy. That's the team. <laughs> Okay, so now Alistair is just taking over Vox's control, which is insane to see. Vox asked Alistair to be on his team, where earlier in the song we heard that Vox was almost beaten by Alistair. I'm assuming Vox asked Alistair to be part of his team. Alistair said no, and then might have retaliated by attacking. Or maybe Vox attacked Alistair after Alistair said no. I love how in this one song we are getting so much story. This is a perfect way how to construct a song into a show and it's lore i'm afraid you've lost your signal let's be oh that's cool i just realized that's cool you can see alistair just put that radio tower up like it looks super unfinished and like half-assed i guess that kind of shows that alistair's a little petty kind of like after he heard vox shit talking him on the tv he built a new radio tower just to spite and trash on vox when i'm done your status quo will know its race is run oh this will be fun that was kind of creepy. Alistair was turning into like a Wendigo. Is that what Alistair is? Is he a Wendigo? I don't know. That was cool. That whole song was just incredible. I'll be honest. In episode one, I didn't really care for Adam's song, but this one was awesome. Welcome to the Has Been Hotel. Oh, no, darling. Thank you. You won't regret this. Whether Serpentius is spying for Vox in the inside of the hotel, Charlie is just a little bit too welcoming and accepting. Serpentius did try to kill them like, earlier in the episode. So I guess that is one of Charlie's flaws. Never leave me again. We're about 80% sure she's harmless. And over here, we have, oh, uh, Alistair, our gracious facility manager. Alistair blinked his eyes separately. How do you even blink separately with your eyelids? Like, yeah, you can wink, but that's different from blinking. Like most people, when you blink, it's synced. Uh oh, not many people have been able to take even this much off me. It must have meant quite a lot to you. Alistair is such an asshole for no reason sometimes. Yeah, I get it, Alistair is a demon. He's not supposed to be nice, but I guess since Alistair did or is investing time into this hotel, he should learn how to be at least somewhat sympathetic. My name is Charlie. I like to sing. And when we get to know each other, it's the greatest thing. My name's Sapengius. I like to build. What the fuck is going on? Why is Charlie treating these people like they're children? They're all grown ass adults. How else would you try to rehabilitate sinners, I guess? I am too sober for this. Well, get used to it and learn how to play. This is gonna be your whole day. Oh, I like that. That was cool. Now that Sir Pentius is living in the hotel, obviously we know as the viewer, he's just Vox's inside guy. But as you can see, they added Sir Pentius blimp his war machine, that's a cool attention to detail. Now, my only question is how the hell did Sir Pentius build one so fast since Alistair just destroyed it this very episode, which I'm pretty sure takes place all in one day. Come home, it's not the same without you here. I miss you, come back. Angel, you bitch. If you don't come home, you will be fucking greasy truckers for the next year. Hey, amorcito, I didn't mean to yell. Valentino has serious problems. You can kind of tell that Angel Dust is kind of, I guess, missing. Maybe missing Valentino. But sorry is where it starts. Who could forgive a dirtbag like me? Something about Charlie's songs just don't hit the same as they did back in the pilot episode. I don't know, they just seem different. It starts with sorry. I hated that song. Why are you so lame? Not a bad boy. <laughs> 
I'm not gonna say I didn't like the song, but she kind of said what I was kind of thinking. Also, quickly, didn't Sir Pen just kill a shit ton of people in the pilot? Is he even savable at this point? You'll have to try harder than that next time, old pal. <laughs> <laughs> I love how Alistair just knows that Vox is trying to dig into his personal secrets and find out what he's there for. And just Alistair is just toying with Vox, kind of. Honestly, great episode too. I loved it. I love that we're learning more about the other demons in hell, the other overlords. I hope we learn more about Vox and Alistair and their whole history, I guess. Clearly, Vox doesn't like Alistair because I'm assuming Alistair tried to kill him at some point and take his power. Because up to this point, Alistair has been shown as unbeatable. But now we know that Alistair has failed to kill someone. It just shows that Vox is powerful. But anyway, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.